another day, another year older. It'll be the usual thing. Mum will have bought me the wrong size again, but I'll smile and pretend it's just what I want. And Dad will have bought me something wonderfully expensive, but entirely inappropriate. And Ryan will just sneer and pretend he's not jealous. And then there's the party. How embarrassing will that be? I mean, really, some people should never dance. Maybe it's a medical condition. And then there's Della. Dear little Della, chattering on and on in that insecure way of hers. If we didn't share the same birthday, would we really be best friends? There can't be any mess! Maybe it won't be so bad. At least there'll be one person I won't mind seeing today. I wonder who that could be from. My name is Jane Harper. Welcome to my life. Classic anxiety dream. Daughter comes of age, mother subconsciously questions her future role in life. Who am I? Where am I? Was it all worth it? It's usually preceded by a bout of depression. Oh. Well, if I wasn't anxious before. You want me to prescribe the Valium now? <laughs> How well do you know Jane? As well as any mother knows a daughter. You okay, Roxy? And what am I supposed to give our little guest for breakfast? I'm on the phone! Why don't you do one of your mixed grill heart attack specials, hmm? I'll see you later, Roxy. <laughs> right size? Mm-hmm. Just what I want. And this is from me. Like? Love. What is it? Open it. Nothing like me. My mistake. That one's got a personality. Good morning, Lucy. Did you sleep well, darling? Yes, thank you, Miss Dolly. Mum. What do you want for your breakfast? Usually I have porridge, but Mr. Will says there isn't any. Mum, can you take him? Well, how about you have some muesli and banana mush? Spare sausage going if you want one. You do realize what they put in those, don't you? Bone, sawdust, yeah. testicle. Hey, we've got guests. Laura, Becky, why didn't you see if Lucy wants some of your syrup? School project, Disability Awareness Week. They've got to pretend they're deaf for 24 hours. Oh, what's your guitar doing on the table? It's our daughter's birthday. I was going to sing her song. She won't find that embarrassing. Lucy! Thank you, Miss Gilbert. I'd rather have my breakfast at home. Mm, all right. Where is that brother of yours anyway? Morning. Yeah, and what time do you call this then? I'm sorry, Roxy. Um, the coach got flat on the M11. You know, I would have called, mm -hmm. but uh, I left my charger at home. Yeah, right. You know, you can pull the other one. It's got bells on. Listen, Sam, you cannot keep leaving Lucy and Ben here with us. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Good morning, everyone. 
Hello, mate. The game going to extra time, didn't it? Did you score? I'll save the post-match analysis until uh, later, eh? Hello, Luz. Hello. <clears throat> Sam, I thought that you guys jumped into a bath together after a game. Yeah, well, you know, dodgy ground. Mm. Thought you liked playing away. Where's your kit anyway, Sam? Keep it under your light, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic! <laughs> Ooh, Mandy! Hey, Della. Um, isn't it your birthday today? Sixteen. Happy birthday, oh. Happy birthday, sweet sixteen. Sha la 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 la. Happy birthday, sweet si Oh. Happy birthday, hello. Sixteen years old. You're almost a woman. This isn't going to be one of those sickly dad speeches, is it? I just want you to know how proud of you I am. Ugh. This is going to be a good day. Mm. So, who's Mandy? Joe, I'm not entirely sure. Hey? Luz! Let me in! No, you can go and live with Mandy. Come on, Luz, let me in! All right. You can come in if you tell me what the capital of Argentina is. Hi, Della. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jane. Happy birthday, love. Looking very nice today, mister. Oh, this old thing. Oh, I only wear this one. I just don't care how I look. <laughs> one left. It's only around the corner. Don't want to make you late. See you later, then. See you later. Bye. Maybe we should take the day off. Mm, yeah, I'll pay the bills. We could relive that night of passion we had 16 years ago. <laughs> yeah, look where that got us. I think we've got enough mouths to feed, don't you? Mm -hmm. Nothing to stop me coming in for an appointment, though. Do you think everything will be different after today? What? Well, it's supposed to be, isn't it? You turn 16 and suddenly you're a woman. Well, at least that's what they say. Only I don't feel any different. Be careful what you wish for, Della Wells. You may just get it. Who was on the phone? Childminder. She can't make it this morning. Shouldn't you be dressed? I don't feel well. Oh, get dressed, Lucy. Of course, if I were to stay at home today. I could always look after Ben for you. What are you doing? Ah, uh, no. What did you do that for? I wish you could fold the stupid bed up. I don't see why you can't sleep upstairs. You know why? Ben's got my room. What about the master bedroom, Sam? You really are the most thickest person in the world. You don't even know what the capital of Argentina is. I've been thinking about our situation. Can we have a situation? You know, Dennis will be moving out soon. I hope. And Della. Won't be long before she's away at college. What I'm saying is, we're going to have more time for each other soon, to do more stuff together. And I got to thinking, maybe now would be a good time to get married. You, you, you want us to get married? I don't know. But I know I wanted to ask you. <laughs> I mean, we're doing okay, aren't we? I mean, we've been all right for 17 years. Why spoil a good thing? Okay. Oh, it's not that I don't love you. I know. I walk into an empty How's Ben? He looks a little peaky. He's supposed to look like that. His teething, every parent's worst nightmare. Do you miss Mum and Dad? Of course. I don't. I hate them. I hate them so much.
just for one minute. Hello, Josh. Happy birthday. See his face. The boy's got to learn. Mess me around, expect to get messed with. It's a joke. The only thing I've ever learned here is how insignificant it all is. I don't need to turn 16 to realise how sad and immature these freaks really are. Still a virgin, Tom? Oh, you know, revising, exams. What's her problem anyway? Nothing but a heavy blunt object wouldn't kill. Fiona Brake, my lovely aunt. Happy birthday, Jane. Uh, mm. Thanks, Aunt Fiona. Did you get anything good? Yeah. When will she realise that mm. her life is a sham? Oh, it's lovely. Early fish, early. Yeah. 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 Come on, come on. Manny, Get your fish on. Get up on strong. Get on with it. Third time this week he's been here. Think it's a scat? What a good it's on it. Bet you wish we had that early night now, eh? Roxy? Roxy! You walk out that door again and you're fired. That's the third time this month. Beating my own record. Mum will kill me if I bunk off. Who knows what they get up to when we're not around. Where are you going? To see Josh. Jane! Come in. How do you fancy an early lunch? I'm, I can't. I'm working. Well, I've just checked your schedule. You haven't got a patient till two o'clock. Oh, come on, Nat. Why should it only be our daughters who celebrate today? After the last 16 years they put us through, I think we deserve a drink. Looks like you were having a few problems out there. Yeah, well, we all have our off days. Oh, weeks. Ernie Heston, talent scout for Newcastle United. Sam Armstrong. <laughs> I know. You know, of course, that if we were to take you on, we'd expect nothing less than 110% commitment. Sorry, what did you say? We've been watching you. I think you got something. Of course, it would mean moving up north. That'd be a problem. But what about my position here? <laughs> You're a non-league player with a non-league club earning 150 quid a week. 170? Oh, well, how do you fancy earning that a day? I'm offering the chance of a lifetime here, son. Training with the first team of a Premier Division club. It's a chance that only comes around once. There's a number on that card. Use it, eh? I wanted for a birthday. Gift vouchers. I wish all kids were as easy to buy for. Oh, it was a relief in one way. I didn't have to pick something out for her. Does that sound terrible? <laughs> you know, time was when if I had my eyes shut and she walked into a room. I just... I could smell her, you know? She smelled like Della, my daughter. Now, if I had my eyes closed and she walked into a room, I wouldn't know from any other kid in Greenwich. You know, we should do something. Thought we were doing it. Oh, I mean, the kids are having a party. Why shouldn't we? 
We'd have it at ours. On the work night. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Only if we have dinner at mine first. All right, it's a deal. Jane. What is the currency of the Gambia? The Delassie. The Peseta? Sorry, it's the Delassie. Why didn't you turn up last night? Something came up. You could have run. I'm sorry. Run away with me. I already have run away. Was it easy? Yeah. That's what comes next. It's hard. Looks like I have to run away by myself then. If they blindfolded me and hid you in the world someplace, they'd find you. And if I couldn't find you, I'd find someone else and tell them about you. You stole that from a film. But it worked right. Excuse me, Auntie Fiona. I thought that mobile phones weren't allowed to be switched on during school hours. Pick up the phone. Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello? Fiona? Hiya, it's Roxy. We're having a bit of a do tonight. Just uh, wonder what you think. They count me indefinitely. What? Of course Michael will be up for it. Up for what? <laughs> yeah, we all know what he's like if he's had a few, even if he doesn't. Well, exactly. Why should they be the only ones to have any fun? Yeah, but because it's their 16th birthday. Uh, no. No. I'm not cross. I just... I wish you'd tell me before you organise these things. Sister. You can call her Lucy. <laughs> Do you want to hand, Miss Doyle? Oh, Jane, you made me jump. Oh, cheers. Shouldn't you be at school? Shouldn't you be at work? Free period. Oh. <laughs> Dump the stuff in the kitchen, Jane. I won't be a minute, OK? If I should die this very moment I wouldn't feel For I've never known completeness Roxy not around? Oh, no, she's upstairs. Till the end of time, till the earth stops turning. When I love you till the seas run dry. Hello, 
Whether we live, we live unto the Lord. Whether we die, Sleep. 